What's up everybody, Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors for Gear America and today we are going to talk about another winching technique called the change direction pull. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's for when you need to change direction. So if you're ever in a position where you need to winch around an object and can't do it, or you have somebody that's facing a different direction and you have an anchor point so you can use your snatch block to winch around, this is a way to get somebody to safety. So let's head out to the desert and we'll go over some simple techniques. Hey everybody, Chris here from Bull Canyon Outdoors for Gear America, and I am out here in the desert just outside of Phoenix to go over another winching technique with Gear America Recovery Gear. You may have seen my other videos where we talked about snatch blocks and double line pulls. Well, today we're talking about a change of direction pull, which basically means if someone needs winched out, but you don't have a clear shot at them, we're going to use the new Gear America Ultra Snatch Block and winch them out. Okay, for demonstration's sake, since we haven't gotten a stuck Jeep, we've got the 09 right here with a winch line hooked up to it. That line runs clear to an anchor point, which for demonstration's sake is a telephone pole, which we don't recommend using to winch with. It's hooked up to the Gear America Tree Saver, the Ultra Snatch Block, and over to the winching Jeep. So essentially, what we're doing is we're using the strength of this winch to go through the snatch block and pull this Jeep out of a sticky situation. Now, even though we're using the snatch block, this is not a double line pull. So you're not doubling the strength of the snatch block because it's not connecting to the stationary vehicle. So you're using just the power of your winch against the weight of the stuck Jeep. If you wanted to do a double winch line pull, you'd need to run another snatch block at this Jeep back to a stationary spot like the telephone pole. So we'll take a step back. And we aren't actually winching, so I don't have weight on the winch line. I just wanted to show you're winching from the winching Jeep to an anchor point and a snatch block, which effectively changes the direction and pulls out the stuck Jeep. So that is a single line direction change pull. So next time you find yourself in a sticky situation and you've got a partner with the Jeep who can't get a straight line pull, this is the way to get it done. Okay, let's take a look at the snatch block that we used in today's demonstration. This is the Ultra Snatch Block by Gear America. And what sets this apart from other snatch blocks is several things. One, it's aluminum. So this thing weighs in at a hair past three and a half pounds. So it's lightweight, easy to use. It's specifically designed for synthetic winch line, which I use. And being lightweight, it's not gonna weigh your line down when you're, when you're using it, and also has smooth edges, so you don't ever have to worry about any snags or catches on a winch line. The pulley is set up to use up to 5 8 inch thick winch line. Has a greasable zerk fitting there. Easy to use, smooth. This thing also has a workload of 10 tons. That's 20,000 pounds. The maximum brake strength is about twice that, but honestly, 
I use a 9,500 pound winch on my Jeep. I don't think I'm ever gonna be getting close to that 10 tons when I'm using the snatch block. But you do need to double or even triple your workload by using multiple snatch blocks. You know, this one will stand up. Half the weight, double the capacity. Can't complain about this. This is truly the last snatch block you're ever gonna need. So that's it. That's the Ultra Snatch Block from Gear America. Hope you enjoyed this today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. And do me a favor, mash that like and mash that subscribe button. I'd like to get all the likes and subscribes we have so I can keep bringing you more great gear. And be sure to check the links below. I've got some links to Gear America, some discount codes. That's it for now, everybody. For Gear America, this is Chris from Bull Canyon Outdoors signing off. Happy trails, everybody.